Welcome to Tutorland. How to build a career as an application architect. There is virtually no place where software has not exerted its influence and made a strong foothold. From the simplest of software that performs only one specific task to the most complex ones wherein terabytes of data are involved, there are millions of software available. While some of these software's applications are designed to cater to the needs of the layman, a growing proportion of these are actually designed to be handled by professionals. A growing number of business are shifting to these in order to meet their dynamic demands. In such a situation, an essential service that business need is that of efficient application interfaces. The application interfaces should be such that it caters to the need of the client while taking into consideration the perks and gains of the organization as well. In layman's term, this can be expressed as a measure to maximize the profitability of the company by bridging the gap between demand and supply in a virtual manner. The people who are responsible for this are application architects. This video talks about the job role of an application architect and how you can make a successful career here. Job role Any organization will have a well-defined set of governance rules for sharing it is the duty of application architects to come up with the application interfaces that maximize the use of resources and thereby prevent wastages. These people are the ones who are responsible for ensuring that things go as per the business plan and that the subject matter expert is focused in a manner that it is meant to. As the project level, these are the people who are responsible for ensuring that all the different aspects of application solution architecture are optimized. These would be include factors like time constraints, budget limitations, as well as things like infrastructure specifications. Educational qualifications From an academic point of view, most companies prefer hiring candidates who have a four-year bachelor's degree in computer science, electrical or electronics engineering. Some companies are also students who are from the background of information systems and engineering course. Candidates who have completed their masters in physics, mathematics or relevant subjects with over 50% mocks are also eligible for such a career path. The exact Academic qualifications for a yes. shared role of application architect will depend on the company that you are working for. Skill set As is obvious from the nature of the job, good technical skills are essential for success here. However, other than that one needs to have good managerial skills and should be in the position to collaborate with others. For that, Good communication skills are necessary. Also, since they are the ones who need to convert a real-world problem into a set of mathematical expressions, decent analytical abilities are necessary for a person to survey here. Difference between application developer and application architect. The major difference between that of a developer and an architect may be started as the fact wherein an architect is responsible for giving detailed information about the layout of the overall system. This will include not just things like framework and technologies but will also take into account the overall placement of infrastructure and the architecture of the system. Once the architect does all of that, it is brought out into the form of a blueprint and the same is then handed to the application developer who is then responsible for implementing the same. Thus, while the developer is responsible for only the coding aspects of the project, the overall responsibility of the same lies with the architect. Salary As is understood from the difference between an application developer and an architect, 
most people shift to the role of an architect only after they have sufficient experience as a developer this is because you will be in a position to effectively design materials only when you have a thorough knowledge of how the implementation works thus this job role is not one that is mean for freshers from a monetary point of view the salary structure here is better than that of most other fields the average salary here is rupees 15 lakhs per year those possessing a better skill set have a take home package that is higher than this types of jobs like most other software and application related jobs most of the jobs in this field are in the private sector amongst that one may choose to work either with mnc's or with startups amongst the product based companies firms like clips nokia hp and videocon are amongst the biggest recruiters in the service sectors ey deloitte cognizant and infosys are the biggest names in the country work environment as is evident from the nature of the job here most of the work of these people involve working in front of the computer since there is a lot of planning involved a considerable amount of the day goes into effective brainstorming sessions for the people some companies allow these people to work from home whereas others do not in either case rarely do such people how to work on weekends or in rotational shifts in some situations they will how to collaborate the work of their team it might require them to travel to the office once in a while one of the many professions that have expanded their horizons in the last decade the world of application architecture does look promising here there is the perfect blend of technical expertise and that of creative aptitude and that is why more and more people who have high caliber are choosing it while this means greater competition in the field the other side of the story is there are number of new job opportunities that are coming up in this field and the future of application architecture does look promising thank you